Welcome to the Côte d'Azur, also known as the French Riviera, a glamorous and picturesque stretch of coastline in the southeast of France. This Mediterranean paradise is renowned for its stunning beaches, azure waters, and charming towns, making it a top travel destination for tourists from around the world. In this video, we will take you on a comprehensive tour of the Côte d'Azur, exploring its most beautiful cities and must-see attractions. So before we start, the video make sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos. So let's get started. Number one, Nice our journey begins in Nice, the unofficial capital of the Côte d'Azur. One of the city's most iconic landmarks is the Promenade des Anglais, a bustling seafront boulevard that stretches for seven kilometers along the Mediterranean coast. This palm-lined promenade is perfect for a leisurely stroll, rollerblading, or simply sitting on one of the famous blue chairs and taking in the stunning views of the sea. The Promenade des Anglais is also home to numerous cafes, restaurants, and luxury hotels, including the historic Negresco Hotel, making it a vibrant hub of activity day and night. Next, we venture into the heart of Nice's historic old town, known as Vieux Nice. This charming area is a maze of narrow winding streets filled with colorful buildings, local markets, and quaint shops. The Corsalea Market is a must visit, offering fresh produce, flowers, and artisanal goods. As you wander through Vieux Nice, you'll discover beautiful squares such as Place Rossetti, home to the stunning Nice Cathedral, and a variety of cafes perfect for people watching. The old town's lively atmosphere and unique character make it a highlight of any visit to Nice. Finally, no visit to Nice would be complete without seeing the Nice Cathedral or Cathedral Saint Reparat. Located in the heart of Vieux Nice, this stunning Baroque cathedral is dedicated to Saint Reparata, the patron saint of Nice. The cathedral's ornate interior, with its elaborate altars, frescoes, and sculptures, reflects the rich artistic heritage of the region. The Nice Cathedral is not only a place of worship, but also a testament to the city's historical and cultural significance. Number two, Cannes. Our next stop is Cannes, a city synonymous with glamour and luxury. At the heart of Cannes lies La Croisette, a world-famous boulevard that runs along the Mediterranean coast. This palm-lined promenade is home to some of the most luxurious hotels, designer boutiques, and upscale restaurants in the world. As you stroll along La Croisette, you'll encounter stunning views of the sea, pristine sandy beaches, and numerous art installations. The promenade is also the perfect place to people watch, as it attracts celebrities, fashionistas, and tourists from all over the globe. Whether you're enjoying a leisurely walk or sipping coffee at a seaside cafe, La Croisette encapsulates the essence of Cannes' chic lifestyle. No visit to Cannes is complete without stopping by the Palais des Festivals et des Congrès, the iconic venue that hosts the annual Cannes Film Festival. Every year, the world's biggest stars descend on this venue to attend the prestigious event, walking the famous red carpet and showcasing the latest films. Outside of the festival season, the Palais hosts a variety of other events, including conferences, trade shows, and concerts. Visitors can explore the exterior, take photos on the steps, and even find the handprints of celebrities in the surrounding area. The Palais des Festivals is a symbol of Cannes' enduring allure as a hub for international cinema and entertainment. To experience the historic charm of Cannes, head to Le Suquet, the city's old town. Perched on a hill overlooking the city and the sea, Le Suquet offers a delightful contrast to the modern glamour of La Croisette. The narrow, winding streets are lined with quaint houses, artisan shops, and traditional French restaurants. At the top of the hill, you'll find the Church of Our Lady of Hope, Église Notre-Dame d'Espérance, and the Musée de la Castre, both offering panoramic views of Cannes and the surrounding coastline. Exploring Le Suquet is like stepping back in time providing a glimpse into the city's rich history and cultural heritage. Number three, Monaco. Our journey continues to the glamorous principality of Monaco, known for its wealth, luxury, and stunning coastal views. One of Monaco's most iconic landmarks is the Monte Carlo Casino, an epitome of opulence and architectural splendor. Designed by Charles Garnier, the architect behind the Paris Opera House, the casino boasts an elaborate Beaux-Arts facade and lavish interiors adorned with gold, marble, and crystal chandeliers. Even if you're not a gambler, a visit to the casino is a must to experience its grandeur and soak in the atmosphere of elegance and excitement that defines Monte Carlo. Next, we visit the Prince's Palace, 
the official residence of the ruling Prince of Monaco. Located on a hilltop in the old town of Monacoville, the palace offers breathtaking views of the Mediterranean Sea and the city below. The palace has a rich history dating back to the 12th century and features a blend of medieval, renaissance, and modern architectural styles. Visitors can tour the state apartments, which are adorned with beautiful frescoes, antique furnishings, and tapestries. The daily changing of the guard ceremony at the palace's main entrance is a popular attraction, providing a glimpse into the principality's regal traditions. For those interested in marine life and oceanography, the Oceanographic Museum of Monaco is a must-visit. Founded by Prince Albert de Marin in 1910, the museum is perched on a cliff overlooking the sea, creating a dramatic setting for its extensive exhibits. The museum houses a vast collection of marine artifacts, including model ships, skeletons of sea creatures, and Jacques Cousteau's underwater exploration equipment. The highlight of the museum is its impressive aquarium, which features a wide variety of fish, corals, and other marine organisms in meticulously recreated habitats. The Oceanographic Museum is both an educational and visually stunning experience. Number 4. Antibes Our next stop is Antibes, a charming coastal town known for its rich history and vibrant cultural scene. One of the town's main attractions is Port Vauban, the largest marina in the Mediterranean. This bustling harbour is a haven for luxury yachts and is steeped in maritime history. Strolling along the quays, you can admire the impressive vessels and soak in the lively atmosphere. The port is also home to the historic Fort Carré, a 16th century fortress that offers panoramic views of the town and the sea. Port Vauban's blend of old world charm and modern luxury makes it a must-see destination in Antibes. Art enthusiasts will find a visit to the Picasso Museum in Antibes particularly rewarding. Housed in the Chateau Grimaldi, a medieval castle overlooking the sea, the museum is dedicated to the works of Pablo Picasso, who lived and worked in Antibes for a time. The collection includes paintings, drawings, ceramics, and sculptures that reflect Picasso's prolific creativity and his connection to the Mediterranean. The museum also hosts temporary exhibitions and offers stunning views of the coastline from its terrace. The Picasso Museum is a testament to the enduring influence of Antibes on one of the 20th century's greatest artists. As mentioned earlier, Fort Carré is another prominent landmark in Antibes. Built in the 16th century by King Henry II of France, this star-shaped fortress was designed to protect the town from invaders. Today, visitors can explore the well-preserved ramparts, bastions, and towers, learning about the fort's military history and strategic significance. The fort's elevated position provides breathtaking views of Antibes, the harbor, and the surrounding countryside. Guided tours offer insights into the fort's architectural features and its role in the region's defense. Fort Carré is a fascinating historical site that adds depth to the cultural landscape of Antibes. Number 5. Saint-Tropez Our next destination is Saint-Tropez, a glamorous hotspot famous for its beautiful beaches and vibrant nightlife. One of the most iconic beaches in Saint-Tropez is Pampelon Beach. This stunning stretch of sand and turquoise waters extends for nearly five kilometers and is lined with trendy beach clubs, restaurants, and bars. Pampelon Beach is the place to see and be seen, attracting celebrities, fashionistas, and sun seekers from around the world. Whether you want to relax on a sunbed, enjoy water sports, or sip cocktails at a beach club, Pampelon Beach offers the perfect blend of luxury and leisure. For a dose of history and panoramic views, visit the citadel of Saint-Tropez. This 17th century fortress stands atop a hill overlooking the town and the Mediterranean Sea. The citadel was built to protect Saint-Tropez from maritime attacks and now houses the Museum of Maritime History. The museum showcases the town's rich seafaring heritage with exhibits on local fishermen, shipbuilders, and naval battles. The Citadel's ramparts offer breathtaking views of the town, the harbor, and the surrounding coastline, making it a must-visit attraction for history buffs and photographers alike. The old port of Saint-Tropez, or Vieux-Port, is the heart and soul of the town. This bustling harbor is filled with luxury yachts, fishing boats, and traditional sailboats, creating a picturesque scene. The waterfront is lined with colorful buildings, cafes, and restaurants where you can enjoy fresh seafood and watch the world go by. The Old Port is also a hub of activity, 
hosting events such as regattas, markets, and festivals. Strolling along the quays, you'll experience the lively atmosphere and maritime charm that have made Saint-Tropez a beloved destination. No visit to Saint-Tropez would be complete without exploring the Place de Lys market. Held on Tuesdays and Saturdays in a shaded square, this vibrant market is a feast for the senses. You'll find a wide array of goods, including fresh produce, local cheeses, olives, flowers, and handcrafted items. Number 6. Menton Next, we head to Menton, a picturesque town located near the Italian border. One of Menton's most impressive landmarks is the Basilique Saint-Michel. This stunning Baroque church dominates the town's skyline and offers breathtaking views of the Mediterranean Sea. The basilica's ornate facade, intricate interior, and towering bell tower are a testament to the town's rich architectural heritage. The nearby Place Saint-Michel is a charming square where you can relax and take in the beauty of this historic site. For nature lovers, the Jardin Serre de la Madone is a must-visit attraction in Menton. This beautiful garden was created by the British botanist Lawrence Johnston and features a diverse collection of exotic plants from around the world. The garden's terraces, ponds, and sculptures create a serene and picturesque setting, perfect for a leisurely stroll. The Jardin Serre de la Madone is a hidden gem that showcases the unique flora and natural beauty of the Côte d'Azur. Menton's Promenade du Soleil is a delightful seaside walkway that offers stunning views of the Mediterranean and the town's colorful buildings. This palm-lined promenade is perfect for a leisurely stroll, jog, or bike ride. Along the way, you'll find cafes, restaurants, and shops where you can relax and enjoy the scenery. The Promenade du Soleil is a great place to experience the relaxed and charming atmosphere of Menton. Art enthusiasts will appreciate a visit to the Musée Jean Cocteau, Dedicated to the works of the renowned French artist, writer, and filmmaker Jean Cocteau, the museum is housed in a striking modern building designed by architect Rudy Ricciotti and features a vast collection of Cocteau's drawings, paintings, ceramics, and films. The museum offers a fascinating insight into Cocteau's creative genius and his connection to the Côte d'Azur. Number 7. Villefranche-sur-Mer Villefranche-sur-Mer, a charming seaside village near Nice, is known for its picturesque old town. The narrow, winding streets of Villefranche's old town are lined with colorful buildings, charming cafes, and quaint shops. As you wander through the maze of cobblestone alleys, you'll discover hidden squares, historic churches, and stunning views of the Mediterranean. The vibrant atmosphere and unique character of the old town make it a delightful place to explore and soak in the local culture. Overlooking the old town is St. Elmo's Citadel, a 16th century fortress that offers a fascinating glimpse into Villefranche-sur-Mer's history. Built to protect the town from invaders, the citadel now houses several museums, art galleries, and a beautiful garden. The fort's ramparts provide breathtaking views of the town, the harbor, and the surrounding coastline. A visit to St. Elmo's Citadel is a journey through time, offering insights into the town's strategic importance and rich heritage. One of Villefranche's most unique attractions is the Chapelle Saint-Pierre, a small chapel dedicated to Saint Peter, the patron saint of fishermen. The chapel's interior was beautifully decorated by the French artist Jean Cocteau in the 1950s, featuring vibrant murals that depict scenes from the life of Saint Peter and local fishing traditions. The Chapelle Saint-Pierre is a hidden gem that combines art, history, and spirituality, making it a must-visit in Villefranche-sur-Mer. For a relaxing day by the sea, head to Plage des Marinières, Villefranche's main beach. This sandy beach is nestled in a sheltered bay, offering calm, clear waters perfect for swimming and sunbathing. The beach is easily accessible from the old town and provides stunning views of the surrounding hills and colorful houses. Whether you want to unwind on the sand or take a dip in the Mediterranean, Plage des Marinières is the perfect spot to enjoy the natural beauty of Villefranche-sur-Mer. Number 8. Saint-Paul-de-Vence Our next destination is Saint-Paul-de-Vence, a medieval hilltop village renowned for its artistic heritage. A highlight of the village is the Mate Foundation, a museum of modern art set in a stunning architectural complex surrounded by gardens. The foundation's collection includes works by famous artists such as Marc Chagall, Joan Miro, and Alberto Giacometti, the combination of art and nature at the Maked Foundation creates a unique and inspiring experience for visitors. 
St. Paul de Vence's historic old town is a maze of narrow cobbled streets lined with stone houses, fountains, and bougainvillea covered walls. As you wander through the village, you'll encounter charming squares, historic churches, and breathtaking views of the surrounding countryside. The old town's timeless beauty and preserved medieval architecture make it a captivating place to explore and photograph. One of the most striking landmarks in Saint Paul de Vence is the Chapelle des Penitents Blancs, also known as the White Penitents Chapel. This 17th -th century chapel is adorned with stunning frescoes and contemporary artworks by the Belgian artist Jean Michel Follon. The chapel's serene atmosphere and beautiful interior make it a place of reflection and artistic appreciation. Saint Paul de Vence is a haven for art lovers with numerous local art galleries showcasing a diverse range of works by contemporary artists. These galleries, scattered throughout the village, offer paintings, sculptures, and other artworks that reflect the creative spirit of the region. Visiting the galleries provides an opportunity to discover emerging talents and purchase unique pieces as souvenirs. Number 9. Mugins Mugins, a picturesque village perched on a hilltop, is renowned for its artistic heritage and stunning views. A must-visit in Mogens is the Museum of Classical Art, which boasts an impressive collection of ancient, neoclassical, and contemporary art. The museum uniquely juxtaposes works by artists such as Picasso, Dali, and Damien Hirst, with classical artifacts creating a fascinating dialogue between the old and the new. The museum's carefully curated exhibits and beautiful setting make it a cultural highlight in Mugins. The old town of Mugins is a maze of narrow, winding streets lined with charming stone houses, art galleries, and boutique shops. As you wander through the village, you'll encounter picturesque squares, ancient fountains, and stunning viewpoints overlooking the surrounding countryside. The old town's historic architecture and vibrant artistic community create a unique and enchanting atmosphere that is perfect for leisurely exploration. A short walk from the village center brings you to the Notre Dame de Vie Chapel, a serene and historic site that dates back to the 12th century. The chapel is surrounded by lush gardens and offers breathtaking views of the countryside and the Mediterranean Sea. Inside, you'll find beautiful frescoes and a sense of tranquility that invites contemplation. The chapel's peaceful setting and historical significance make it a must-visit attraction in Mugens. Mugens is also famous for its culinary scene, with numerous gourmet restaurants offering exquisite French cuisine. The village has a rich gastronomic tradition, and many renowned chefs have been drawn to its charm. From Michelin-starred establishments to cozy bistros, Mugens offers a diverse array of dining options that showcase the region's flavors and culinary creativity. Be sure to indulge in local specialties such as truffles, foie gras, and fresh Mediterranean seafood during your visit. Number 10. Bayot. Bayot, a quaint village nestled in the hills, is famous for its glassblowing traditions. The village is home to several glassblowing workshops and galleries, where you can watch skilled artisans create beautiful, hand-blown glass pieces. These workshops offer demonstrations and tours, providing insight into the intricate process of glassmaking. The stunning glass creations, ranging from vases and sculptures to jewelry, make for unique souvenirs and gifts. Art enthusiasts will enjoy a visit to the Fernand Leger National Museum in Biot. Dedicated to the works of the renowned cubist painter Fernand Leger, the museum houses an extensive collection of his paintings, drawings, and ceramics. The museum's striking architecture and beautifully landscaped gardens provide a fitting backdrop for Leger's vibrant and dynamic artworks. The museum offers a comprehensive overview of Leger's artistic career and his contributions to modern art. Biot's historic center is a charming area filled with narrow, winding streets, medieval houses, and inviting cafes. The village's rich history is evident in its well-preserved architecture and ancient fortifications. As you explore the historic center, you'll discover quaint squares, historic churches, and panoramic views of the surrounding countryside. The village's relaxed atmosphere and picturesque setting make it a delightful place to wander and explore. Number 11. Vence. Vence, a charming town nestled in the hills, is renowned for its artistic and cultural heritage. One of the town's most famous landmarks is the Chapelle du Rosaire, also known as the Matisse Chapel. Designed by the artist Henri Matisse, 
This small chapel is considered one of his greatest masterpieces. The chapel features stunning stained glass windows, vibrant murals, and a serene atmosphere that reflects Matisse's unique artistic vision. A visit to the Chapelle du Rosaire offers a profound and moving experience, showcasing the harmonious blend of art and spirituality. Vence's historic old town is a labyrinth of narrow cobblestone streets lined with ancient stone buildings, inviting cafes and boutique shops. As you wander through the old town, you'll encounter charming squares such as Place du Grand Jardin and Place Clemenceau, where locals gather to relax and socialize. The historic architecture and lively atmosphere make the old town a delightful place to explore and discover the town's rich history and culture. Vence is also known for its vibrant local markets, where you can experience the flavors and aromas of Provence. The town's main market, held in the Place du Grand Jardin, offers a wide array of fresh produce, cheeses, olives, flowers, and artisanal goods. The market is a feast for the senses and provides an excellent opportunity to sample local delicacies and purchase unique souvenirs. The friendly atmosphere and colorful displays make Vence's markets a must-visit for any traveler. For art enthusiasts, the Fondation Emile Hughes, located in the Chateau de Villeneuve, is a cultural highlight. This contemporary art museum hosts a variety of exhibitions featuring works by both established and emerging artists. The museum's collection includes paintings, sculptures, and installations that reflect the dynamic and diverse art scene of the region. The Fondation Emile Hughes is a vibrant cultural hub that adds to the artistic allure of Vence. Number 12. Cagnes sur Mer. Cagnes sur Mer, a picturesque coastal town, is closely associated with the famous Impressionist painter Pierre Auguste Renoir. The Renoir Museum, located in the artist's former residence, offers a fascinating glimpse into his life and work. The museum is set in a beautiful estate surrounded by olive trees and gardens, providing a peaceful and inspiring setting. Inside, you'll find a collection of Renoir's paintings, sculptures, and personal belongings, as well as the artist's studio. The Renoir Museum is a must-visit for art lovers and those interested in the legacy of one of France's greatest painters. Perched on a hill overlooking the town, Haute de Cagnes is the historic old quarter of Cagnes-sur-Mer. This medieval village features narrow, winding streets, stone houses, and charming squares. At the heart of Haute de Cagnes is the Chateau Grimaldi, a former fortress that now houses a museum of modern art. The chateau offers panoramic views of the surrounding countryside and the Mediterranean Sea. Exploring Haute de Cagnes is like stepping back in time, providing a glimpse into the town's rich history and architectural heritage. For a relaxing day by the sea, head to Cagnes Beach, a beautiful stretch of coastline that offers soft sands and clear waters. The beach is perfect for sunbathing, swimming, and enjoying various water sports. Along the promenade, you'll find numerous cafes and restaurants where you can savor fresh seafood and Mediterranean cuisine. Cagnes Beach is a popular spot for both locals and tourists, providing a perfect blend of relaxation and seaside fun. Number 13, Cassis. Our next stop is Cassis, a picturesque coastal town known for its stunning natural beauty. One of the main attractions in Cassis is the Calanques National Park a series of breathtaking limestone cliffs and turquoise bays stretching along the coast between Cassis and Marseille. The Calanques, with their dramatic landscapes and crystal clear waters, are perfect for hiking, kayaking, and boat tours. Exploring the Calanques allows you to immerse yourself in the rugged beauty and tranquility of this unique natural wonder. Cap Canet, one of the highest sea cliffs in Europe, is another must-see attraction in Cassis. Rising majestically from the sea, Cap Canai offers panoramic views of the Mediterranean coastline and the surrounding countryside. The scenic drive along the Route de Crete, which runs along the edge of the cliff, provides numerous viewpoints where you can stop and take in the awe-inspiring vistas. Cap Canale's towering presence and stunning views make it a highlight of any visit to Cassis. The heart of Cassis is its charming harbor, a vibrant area filled with colorful boats, waterfront cafes, and bustling markets. The harbor is the perfect place to relax and enjoy the picturesque scenery. With its backdrop of pastel-colored buildings and the imposing cliffs of the Calanques. Strolling along the quays, you can watch the fishermen bring in their catch or enjoy a meal at one of the many seafood restaurants. Cassis Harbor encapsulates the laid-back charm and beauty of this enchanting town. Number 14. Frejus. 
Frejus, a historic town with a rich Roman heritage, is our next destination. One of the main attractions in Frejus is its impressive Roman ruins, which include an amphitheater, aqueduct, and ancient walls. The Frejus Amphitheater, dating back to the first century AD, is one of the best preserved in the region and once hosted gladiatorial games and other public spectacles. Exploring the Roman ruins provides a fascinating insight into the town's ancient history and its significance during the Roman Empire. The Frejus Cathedral, also known as the Cathedral of saint Leonce, is another important historical site in the town. This medieval cathedral, with its distinctive bell tower and cloisters, combines Romanesque and Gothic architectural styles. Inside, you'll find beautiful frescoes, a stunning baptistry, and intricate woodwork. The cathedral complex also includes the Episcopal Palace and the Archaeological Museum, which houses artifacts from the region's Roman and medieval past. The Frasius Cathedral is a testament to the town's rich religious and architectural heritage. For a taste of modern Frasius, head to Port Frasius, a lively marina area filled with yachts, restaurants, and shops. The port is a great place to enjoy a leisurely stroll along the quays, dine at a waterfront restaurant, or take part in various water sports and activities. The marina's vibrant atmosphere and scenic views make it a popular spot for both locals and visitors. Port Frejus combines contemporary charm with the town's historical appeal, offering a well-rounded experience. Number 15. Saint Raphael Saint Raphael, a charming coastal town, is known for its beautiful waterfront and lively atmosphere. The Promenade René Coty is a picturesque seafront walkway that stretches along the Mediterranean, offering stunning views of the sea, palm trees, and elegant villas. The promenade is lined with cafes, restaurants, and shops, making it a perfect place for a leisurely stroll or a relaxing meal with a view. The Promenade René Coty embodies the laid-back charm and scenic beauty of Saint Raphael. A prominent landmark in Saint Raphael is the Basilique Notre-Dame de la Victoire an impressive Neo-Byzantine basilica built in the late 19th century. The basilica's striking facade and intricate interior, featuring beautiful mosaics and stained glass windows, make it a must-visit attraction. Located near the seafront, the Basilique Notre-Dame de la Victoire is a place of both architectural beauty and spiritual significance, offering a peaceful retreat in the heart of the town. The old port of Saint Raphael is a bustling harbor filled with fishing boats, yachts, and vibrant waterfront activity. The area around the port is a hub of restaurants, bars, and shops, where you can enjoy fresh seafood, local specialties, and lively entertainment. The old port's lively atmosphere and picturesque setting make it a focal point of the town's social life and a great place to experience the local culture. For outdoor enthusiasts, the Esterel Massif is a stunning natural area located near Saint Raphael. This rugged mountain range is characterized by its red volcanic rock formations, dense forests, and panoramic views of the Mediterranean. The Esterel Massif offers numerous hiking and biking trails, providing opportunities to explore its unique landscapes and enjoy breathtaking vistas. Whether you're an avid hiker or simply looking to enjoy the natural beauty, the Esterel Massif is a must-visit destination in San Rafael. As we wrap up our journey through the Côte d'Azur, We've explored some of the most beautiful and captivating destinations along this stunning stretch of the French Riviera. From the glamorous streets of Monaco to the charming alleys of Nice, the luxurious beaches of Cannes to the serene landscapes of Saint-Tropez, each location has its unique charm and allure. Whether you're seeking adventure, relaxation, or a bit of both, the French Riviera has something to offer everyone. Imagine sailing along the azure waters, soaking up the Mediterranean sun, or strolling through historic villages with their picturesque architecture and vibrant markets. Adventure seekers can indulge in water sports, hiking trails, and exploring hidden coves, while those looking for relaxation can enjoy world-class spas, fine dining, and leisurely beach days. So, pack your bags and set out to discover the enchanting destinations of the Côte d'Azur for yourself. Each town and city along this coastline offers its unique experiences, from cultural festivals and art museums to exquisite local cuisine and bustling nightlife. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more travel guides and adventure tips. Your support helps us bring you more content on the world's most fascinating destinations. Let us know in the comments which Côte d'Azur destination you're most excited to visit, or if you have any travel tips to share. 
Thank you for watching and happy travels. Safe journeys and unforgettable experiences await you in the breathtaking Côte d'Azur.